North Korea has launched an intercontinental ballistic missile for the first time in nearly five years. That missile was fired into the sea, traveling higher and farther than the last missile launched in 2017. North Korea's test has been condemned by the U.S., Japan, and South Korea. ABC News military contributor, retired General Robert Abrams, and former commander of the U.S. Army Forces Command, joining me now to talk about this. General, good to see you. You know, this is the 12th weapons launch this year from North Korea. How concerning should this be for the U.S.? Uh, Kira, we should, good afternoon, first off. Um, we, we should be concerned for a couple of reasons. As you mentioned, uh, this is the first intercontinental ballistic missile test since November of 2017. All the other 30 plus tests between now and then have been short range and a couple of inter intermediate range ballistic missiles that could potentially range Guam and Alaska. But, but this test today signals a capability that they have a missile that can reach all of the continental United States. So, um, and that should get everyone's attention. Well, and pointing out just the range that this had, it landed near Japan's exclusive uh, economic zone, and Japanese officials called that launch uh, a threat to peace and security. What message is Kim Jong-un trying to send right now? Well, I think, I think KJU's got uh, really two principal messages. The first one is, hey, I, I've been under your sanctions regime now, your stringent str uh, sanctions regime for about five years, and it has not slowed down my weapons development program one inch. The North Korean people and our scientists are capable, we're strong enough to overcome anything uh, from the hostile Western world. So I think that's the first message, that they're strong and capable. And second, I think he was sending a clear message to not only the United States, but to the world, uh, that they truly have a intercontinental ballistic missile capability that can reach all of the continental United States and extended ranges in any direction. So this test comes as President Biden is meeting with NATO allies today. So could this missile test shift uh, the Biden administration in any way uh, from, away from Ukraine to North Korea? And is that what KGU wants? I, I don't. Um, I, I don't really know what the where the policy might take it, but I suspect that it is unlikely to change the direction of our. Uh, national security focus right now, which is rightfully on Ukraine. Um, I don't think also that this test today was particularly timed to coincide with the meeting at NATO. Um, I think a much closer look of domestic politics on the Korean Peninsula would probably give us some insight as to why he picked today. He's been on this trajectory to develop this type of missile and launch it uh, now for a couple of months. And uh, as many people know, we have a newly elected uh, Korean president who will assume office in early May. And uh, this is an opportunity for Kim Jong-un to send a not-so-subtle message to that new president and his administration before he takes office so that he knows what he's dealing with. A little tit-for-tat, I guess, uh, in, in, in light of the current tensions, yes? I, uh, I think that uh, the response today by the uh, Republic of Korea Defense Forces um, is, is appropriate for a number of reasons. Uh, one, it sends a, a clear message back to North Korea that uh, the South Koreans have the capability to reach out and touch them um, at whatever distance they shoot from. And secondly, it's really important for the Korean military to demonstrate their capability to reassure their own people that they are on the ball, that they're paying attention, that they're trained, they're ready, and are prepared to deter any North Korean aggression. So I, I wouldn't look to see this, yep. um, you know, sort of accelerate and spiral into something that we don't want to see. General Robert Abrams, always good to talk to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.